Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to what to do with all of these really stretched out scrunchies. I started this project and then I thought I'm going to turn my camera on and we're going to talk about some things to do with all of these scrunchies that no longer have any give in them. They're so stretched out, they're pretty much useless. So let's take a look. So the first thing I did was I cut one in half. I found the seam, the edge, and I just, I cut it. And I could get out my seam ripper, but to be honest with you, these are really, they're pretty old. And I wasn't sure if it was worth getting the seam ripper out for. I don't know how many scrunchies you might have. I have obviously lots. This is a small fraction of what I actually own. And it was I was going through them and cleaning them out, and I thought there has to be something that I can do with these. So first thing that came to mind is a fabric flip. Wouldn't that be cool in a 1960s journal as a nice fabric flip? So that would be really cool. All right, so I'm going to set that one aside because... It needs ironing. They've all been washed. I washed them all. I made sure that there were no hairs left on them. Now, I don't like how this one, um, I, like I said, I could get out the seam ripper and really work at it and make it pretty. I'm not going to bother with that right now. But I'm too impatient. So fabric flip. So there's an idea for them, and that's a fabric flip. Then I was playing around with one of them, and okay, let me talk about rosettes, because this is a really cool thing that you can do with them. To make a rosette, now the, again, there's not, there's very little give in this, in fact, hardly any. I'm going to put, wrap it around three fingers, I'm going to wrap it around again. I don't know how many of you have long hair, but if you don't have long hair, find somebody who does. But so I wrapped it twice. And then I'm just going to take it and flip it and then tuck it up underneath. And it makes a cool rosette. And that can go easily on the front of a journal. I have a journal here that I'm working on. This is, would be the wrong color for it. But, you know, put something there. That would be really cool. Down here at the bottom, you know, that would be neat. I don't even know if I'm still in camera. Yes, I am. Okay, so you could put a rosette. Now this one, in order to make sure that it didn't come apart, I went ahead and put some Fabri-Tac on it. And then what I probably will do before I decide to use it on anything is maybe do a little bit of tacking with, with uh, needle and thread. So let me, let me do this one again. I'm going to show it to you one more time. Okay, so you twist it. And then the, when you twist it the third, the second time, just bring that end up and push it through so that it goes under the scrunchie and comes out through the middle. And then you might have to do, you know, a little bit of finessing in order to get it where you want it. And then just use your Fabri-Tac and tack it down so it doesn't come apart. So, fabric flip and a rosette. This one, whoops, hang on. That one, and let's talk about this one. This is one that is, well, it's ugly. I've never liked this one I, because the, the uh, um, elastic shows on the outside. And I, it's, I've just never liked this one. Um, it looks like one that, that just never got finished, like maybe somebody didn't do that. And I don't know, even know where it came from, but I don't like it. Um, I'm not ever going to use it. The elastic is sewn into it, so you can't take it out. Because that's another option. What I'm going to do with this one, this one's getting tossed. The rest of these are not going in the landfill, but that one is getting tossed. Now this one, I really like this one. And what, again, I cut the seam, 
pulled the elastic out of it, but there's no reason I couldn't put another piece of elastic in there and re-sew it. I'm not going to because I'm going to do a um, sunflower journal. And so since this was old and all yucky to begin with, this will make a beautiful belly band. By the way, look at this paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope that's showing up on camera. I have a new table runner and I just did some coffee dyed paper and I put it all under my table runner and it came out like this. I'm absolutely thrilled with how that came out. That's going to look stunning. So I iron it out and I put it down here and now I have a belly band for my sunflower journal. So belly band, fabric flip, rosette. We're doing beautifully. Now this one, this one has not much give. There's a little bit of give in there, but, and again, this is a too small of a journal for it. Of course, once it gets stuffed, this is, this is a, my current journal in progress, Christmas journal in progress. But look at that. Wouldn't that make a nice little skirt around to hold your journal together? So this one, I'm not going to take apart. I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm going to leave it just as it is. Belly band rosette. No, belly band rosette fabric flip journal skirt. I guess we can call it a journal skirt. This one I took apart because I love this. It's a velvety fabric. And as I was looking at this going, I really, I want to do something special with that. Coming back to this journal again, look at this on the cover of this as a topper. Isn't that rich? Now, obviously, it needs a little bit more work than just this, but as the base for this particular topper, there we go. So, let's go back again. We have belly band rosette, journal skirt, closure, try it again, fabric flip, rosette, uh, journal skirt, closure, belly band, topper. We have all sorts of things that we can do with these scrunchies. There's nothing that says that they don't, I, you know, that you can't use them again. Now, this one could also work as a journal piece if you do it a couple times. But I think this is the one that actually gave me the idea for the topper or for the rosette. Because I tried this in my hair at one point, And when I pulled it out, it came out in a rosette. And I thought, ooh, how do I do that on purpose? I don't know. This one may be a goner. Or I can just use a little bit of that with, where's my, with this. There's a way to put these together. Let me know in the comments if you have ideas as to how to use scrunchies. Now, everything I looked up online, because when I was starting this, I thought, okay, I have a few ideas. Let me see if anybody else has some really cool ideas out there as to what they're doing with scrunchies. Every single one of them was about how to bring new life back to an old scrunchie and to reuse it as a scrunchie. I don't want to use it as a scrunchie anymore. I have plenty of new ones. These Several of these are really worn out. Um, this one is has is really cool, but it's starting to fray in places. This one is actually starting to fray. Um, where is here it is. The, the seam is starting to come out. So this one's going to need a little repair work before I can hang on. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. The, uh, I don't know what is out because there's nothing blossoming right now, except a few fall flowers. And I know that I'm not allergic to them. I don't know if it's the leaf mold or what, but I have been sneezing like crazy for the past several days. And so has my husband. So we know something's going around or in the air. So anyway, 
where was I? This thing. I'm not sure what to do with this one. Um, every, oh, everything that I found online was how to repair. And I don't want to repair any of these. I want to reuse them, give them new life. Um, is this going to end up in the landfill? I hope not. There's got to be a way, because I love the brightness of this color. So there's got to be something that I can do with that one. So give me some ideas in the comments. What can I do with this stretched out thing? Because even if I cut it, it rolls up into like this little cord. I don't know, maybe I could just you cut it. And, and because it's woven, it doesn't really have a beginning and an end. It's one of those elastic pieces, no beginning, no end. Might, you know, might as well be a Mobius strip. Anyway, looking for some ideas as to what to do with that. These two, I really like this idea as a as another rosette. I might keep that one as a rosette. This one, I don't know as a rosette that it's going to be all that pretty. Let's try it real quick. No, I don't like that as a rosette. I think this one, I, and this one is, is constructed differently. It has a double something going on over here. All right, that's the moment of truth. We're going to open it up and see what's going on in here. Okay, that is sewn again. I think this one definitely was handmade. I think that was like that to keep the elastic from snapping back in. This has black elastic. It's right there. Yep, it's sewn in on the other side. So I'm going to try to hang on to that part while cutting off this part. Because I already did that with the with this one. I cut it and the elastic sprung into the middle and then I had a devil of a time getting it out. Okay, there we go. Pulled right out. And these two pieces I'm not going to try to keep. I have this nice long piece and again that one I think I'm not going to take apart at this point but you can see that's definitely handmade it's thick here thin here this is you know whoever made this did not necessarily make the best seam that's okay because in a scrunchie you don't really care but now that I'm going to do this as a I don't know if I'm going to do it as a belly band I'm not going to cut this apart further because I might choose to use that as a belly band at some point. I might choose to use it as a fabric flip. So this one we're going to leave just like it is. This one I know I'm doing as a belly band. This one I know I'm doing as a topper. This one I have no idea what I'm doing with. This one is going to get repaired and used as a... I keep calling it a journal skirt. It's, it's a closure. It's a way of closing it up. This one is a really cool rosette, and there we have a fabric flip. Ways to use your scrunchies that are all, that are really not much in the way of scrunchies anymore. So I hope you're having a good time. Uh, make sure you are watching these videos. Uh, I, again, I haven't made this plea in a while, but I am coming close to that day when the, the, I, I have like, 600 watch hours. They're going to fall off of my 365 day watch hours very shortly. And so um, I'm encouraging my viewers, all of you subscribers, please make sure you're watching these videos all the way through. Put them on the background and go, you know, in the background and go vacuum. I don't care. I just wanted to get those watch hours up so that I can get my 3,000 watch hours in a 365 day period, so then I can offer some cool little extras to you guys. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, please do make sure you subscribe, hit the like bell to let YouTube know that you like them, and click that little bell for the notification for when the next journal comes, or next journal, next video comes out. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.